Hey Mallards, it is Monday, uh, which means that it's time for another game of Monster of the Week. This week we had a smaller party, but definitely no less fun. Uh, I'm going to start because Petra is the one who started this adventure, which is that underneath her door, Petra got an invitation to a circus, which has Mallory lit because I love circuses. And Petra also excited because circuses are a great place for a grifter to hang out. Lots of crowds, lots of people already willing to be swindled. No one seems uh, surprised when they don't have most of their money when they leave because, you know, that's just how circuses go. Uh, so I was pumped to go to La Cirque Olympia uh, and I tried to convince Bells to go with me, but I don't know, he's off with his like new love interest thing, which is fine. I'm happy for him, obviously. Uh, but instead I took CB who has, well, I'll, I'll let you tell about his interests uh, in a minute, uh, and Apple who seems pretty excited that it's called Cirque Olympia. Uh, even though we haven't really figured out why that is yet. But the circus was awesome. There are talented performers and love is in the air. So we are going to both uh, create and ruin relationships. Oh, also I found a small child named Laura and I'm going to make her my apprentice. I've decided. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let CB go next uh, and tell you about his adventures in the circus, which have been way different than the rest of ours. Hold on. So my adventure starts with my ever-loving quest to find a sports swallower, just because they seem really cool. Um, but then CB, he was distracted, and he stole one of the swords, and later used one of those swords to try and tame a lion, until he was taken away by someone who would easily crush them under their foot. Uh, but yeah, that's that's CB. That's uh, and, of this holiday. And this is this is when we learned that uh, in circuses, leprechauns are bought and sold. Yes. Yeah. Which is canon now. Uh, <laughs> Apple, do you want to be the voice of reason in this uh, circus of crazy? Apple would have liked to be the voice of reason, but she didn't. She. She also knows that it's a lost cause by this point. She did discover that there is an amulet on the, on on a person's person. <laughs> um, but she, she really was, she, for all her power, she was powerless to stop the chaos from ensuing when Phoebe stole things and uh, Petra decided to, to take an apprentice. She's just, she's just holding on for dear life and trying to figure out what is going on. Like what, where, why is, why were we not told by Mr. K about this circus? Why did we have to find out through a third party? And then in addition to that, why is it called Cirque Olympia, which has, which has Apple's like radar going off like crazy, but she's just not together the puzzle pieces yet. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's been really, really fun. It should be mentioned that what we've got going on is a silk sky who's in love with the trapeze artist who wants nothing to do with him because she's in love with the lion tamer who probably likes the trapeze artist at least a little, but the silk sky is the one with the amulet and he's definitely bad news bears. Uh, so we're going to get some people, people together and, and uh, break some people up. Is there uh, anything to add on behalf of the circus there, Brooke? No, I'm just having a good time as you guys are like, let's do this wild, wild thing. Yeah, you didn't expect us to gain children apprentices and steal sword swallowing swords? Nope. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, well, we're here to always surprise. And I hope you guys have also been surprised. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>